Hello my little butterflies, in this video is going to be my late additions to my February TBR. So you guys, as I put in the description box under my last video, which was my February TBR, I did have some other books coming in that I wanted to add to my TBR pertaining to Black History Month. So happy Black History Month to everybody. And I did get two of the books in that I requested. I requested another book, but it hasn't come in yet which I don't think and I really don't think it's going to be in time for me to read it because it still is not in yet and that book was supposed to be um, All American Boys but that book hasn't come in yet and I honestly don't expect it to come in before the month is over but if it does you know I'll read it but if not then I guess I'll just be reading another time but the first book that I did request that I have wanted to read since like since 2014 I think this book this book was actually uh, released in 2010, but I heard about it at an NAACP meeting um, when I was actually in college. Um, I was at an NAACP meeting and one of the girls there recommended this book to us. And it is The New Jim Crow, Mass Incarceration in the Age of Colorblindness by Michelle Alexander. And this is a book that I have been wanting to read. It has been on my wish list on Amazon but I never bought it so I figured well I might as well just go and check it out from the library and I could read it for free and this book pretty much brings up the notion that um, with the election of President Obama that there was still racism going on in the United States that is just sick that a lot of people think because of Barack Obama because he's a black he was a, the first black president that there were, was any more was not any more racism in America and we all know that that is not true and it's pretty much saying that with that election it signaled just like a whole new era of colorblindness it talks about how we have all these different um, racial castes in America and also it talks about how people of color not just African Americans but pretty much minorities are made a target to be um, arrested not saying that you know some of them you know wasn't doing anything but it's just they're targeted as they're targeted to be arrested and it talks about these mass incarcerations in prisons and how in prison it's like you lose your rights all over again like um you know back in the day you know people of color didn't have any rights and they couldn't vote or anything like that and it talks about how once you become a felon uh, and once you're in jail you lose all of your rights pretty much you, you don't have a right to pretty much anything you have no rights anymore as you're supposed to have when you're out on the streets it talks about how they're legally it talks about how the government is legally using jails and imprisonment pretty much to bring about a, a new wave of Jim Crow just saying that they're kind of doing it legally but still they're stripping you of all of your rights all over again and it talks about um how the war on drugs kind of you know started everything off and I, I guess I think they bring up like different um presidents throughout the year that that's continuing you know pushing the war on drugs as a way to actually target different color communities you know throughout the United States just to you know like a legal reason it talks about all those different kind of issues throughout the world that you know kind of targets color communities and but not just African Americans but also um you know Hispanic communities as well and I have really wanted to read this book for a long time and I'm, I don't know why I never figured just go check it out from the library before and I could have read it for free but I guess I did want my own copy and I think I'm still gonna buy my own copy anyway just to have it because I that's that was my whole goal anyway was to buy my own copy so I'm definitely going to um read this I don't care if I don't read anything else this month I'm definitely going to pick this up this month and read this if I haven't wanted to read this for a very very long time time and I don't really hear booktube talk about this book too much and I did go try to find some reviews I, I maybe found like a handful of reviews and that was pretty much it a lot of people on booktube don't really talk about this book that often and um I think that this is a good book that really should be both floating around you know booktube especially with diversifying and you know all the commotion that's come out recently about there needs to be more diversity on booktube I think this would be a really good book you know to throw in to talk about diversity so I'm definitely going to read this and I'm definitely going to be giving you, my, you guys my thoughts on this book. The next book that I'm adding to my February TBR and for Black History Month is a recent book that has been floating around book two that I've been seeing. And I thought, oh yeah, let me pick that up. That, that might be, you know, that's going to be a good read. And that is The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. I think that's how you pronounce the name. And pretty much this book is about the Underground Railroad. It follows the two main characters. Cora and Caesar and Cora is a slave on a Georgia plantation and you know they talk about how life is hard for all of the slaves but especially for Cora and then at that she's you know becoming a she's coming into womanhood where she's going to have greater troubles and then they bring in a new slave and his name is Caesar and he brings up to her how you know they have the underground railroad that they should run away and join the underground railroad to get away 
and while on their way to find the Underground Railroad, um, Cora ends up killing a, a white young boy who tries to um, who tries to capture them, and so they end up finding their way to the Underground Railroad, but now they're being hunted for killing the young white boy, and it pretty much follows their um, travels throughout the Underground Railroad, and I guess them I don't I, I don't know how the story's gonna end if they're actually gonna, actually gonna get safety or if they're gonna get captured. I don't know, but that's pretty much what this book is about, as the title says, the Underground Railroad, what else would it be about? And um, I've been hearing, I've been listening to some reviews of a couple of people on BookTube about this book, and I, it really made me want to read it. And um, a lot of people, they explain it so well. They go into so, such a good detail about this book, and that would really made me want to pick this book up. So I'm definitely going to read this book this month also, and um, you guys would definitely be hearing my thoughts on this book as well, just as well as the new Jim Crow. So, um, I cannot wait to tell you guys my thoughts on these books because I just, I feel like these books are just going to go so deep for me and I'm going to feel so deep like explaining it. So I can't wait to read these books. Okay guys, so these are the two books that I am adding to my February TBR, which definitely makes my TBR a ambitious TBR now because I had four books before. And I've also read a book that wasn't on my TBR to begin with. It's an art I got from Nagali. It was a collection of poems. which is going to be my next video. I'm going to review for those books. But now my TBR is definitely very ambitious because this will make my TBR six books now. <laughs> so, but I mean, you know, if I actually sit down and read, I'm not doing anything anyway. I haven't gone back to work yet. So I'm just sitting at home anyway as it is. So I should definitely have time to read these books anyway. So it shouldn't be too bad if I actually, you know, sit down and read and, you know, stop like just watching tv all day long or being on youtube all day long because i've been doing that too i've been going from watching tv to looking at youtube videos so yeah i'm definitely going to start jumping into my tbr so i can get through all the books that i definitely want to read especially these two because i've been wanting to read the new jim crow for real for a while and just hearing about this book recently is just it's amazing to me and i really want to get into it and read it so thank you guys for watching my february add-on to my cbr and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like share and subscribe and you guys have a great rest of your day bye